going to go through the dumbbell bent row. You'll need a bench or some sort of support and a dumbbell. I would start by holding the weight in the same leg as you have staggered behind you. To start, I want you to really stretch the dumbbell towards the ground to get full scapular range of motion at the shoulder blade. As you pull back, I want you to think about your shoulder blade pulling back with the weight as you go back. Shown the wrong way, I don't pull my scap back here. But I do do the right thing here, pulling my shoulder blade back as I pull my elbow towards the sky. Variation two is just doing the same exercise with no support. It will require a little bit more core work. And then variation three would be doing the same thing, but with two weights, if you want to mix it up a little bit. Don't do it this way with your scaps staying in place. Remember not to round your back. This last variation is unsupported and offers a little bit more range of motion through the thoracic spine. You'll try to keep your hips square and then twist your shoulders both ways as much as possible in each of the end ranges. Enjoy this last variation. <laughs> 